Hello everyone, this is another Tech Talk brought to you by Frontier Precision. Today we're going to be talking about some new functionality built into the GeoSlam desktop software. For our GeoSlam users, GeoSlam Hub was launched a few weeks ago, and within Hub is this new GeoSlam Draw module. In order to use GeoSlam Draw, you first need to process your mobile scan data through GeoSlam Hub, and then launch it using this Draw widget. When you launch GeoSlam Draw, it will automatically build a number of views for you, including your standard top, standard front, and standard left. These are just views of our point cloud in different orientations. We can zoom in and out of our point cloud using our scroll wheel. We can also click our scroll wheel to translate our point cloud. I'm just going to expand our view of the standard front, which is a horizontal view of this office scan data. Now most of our GeoSlam Draw customers are using Draw to produce architectural drawings or other CAD drawings from their 3D point cloud. And in order to do this, we use our Layouts and Sections tool in our left-hand toolbar, and we create a horizontal band through our point cloud. This will take a very small clip horizontally through our point cloud, and we can process this in our job list window in the lower right-hand corner by clicking in the layout section. In order to view what we have just created, you double click on the layout, and we can see this is now a very small section cut horizontally through our point cloud. In order to have the software automatically produce lines where these walls are instead of points, we can use our vectorizer tool in the upper toolbar, this V icon. With the vectorizer, we highlight our entire project, and then we process this by clicking Find Lines in our job list window. The software will look for walls and other features, which it can then turn into 2D lines, and you can see it gets about 80 to 85 percent of the way automatically. Now there's some easy to use tools within GeoSlam Draw that we can create our own lines where the software missed them. We can join lines like so. This is where you would take some time and join some of the lines and create new lines where the software did not successfully and automatically produce these lines for you. Now within GeoSlam Draw, we can also do simple distance measurements using our distance tool in the upper toolbar. These distance measurements can also be exported with the automatic lines that we just generated. Another tool is our area tool in the upper icon that can be used to very easily calculate area and square footage of different rooms within our scan. This information can also be exported with the 2D lines that we have just generated. In order to export these lines and measurements that we have created, we can click onto our vectorized layout within our job list window, and we can select our export file format. Most CAD users are going to be using DXF or DWG. This is also where we would specify our file path. Another thing within this export window is our unit exporter. You can see that we can export this data in your standard metric units, or we can convert over to inch and feet. In addition to that, there's projection options, including to keep these lines as 3D projections, or convert them into 2D planner or 2D planner and origin projections, depending on what you're working with. Once we export this data, it can then be brought into CAD software, including Recap and Revit, where you could further define lines, including walls and doorways, and produce your architectural 2G drawings from your point cloud scan data. If you need more information about GeoSlam software or hardware, please contact us at FrontierPrecision.com. Thank you.